Hey guys, it's Angela Wilson from The Source Magazine and Her Source. We're here with the beautiful Rashana Lee, looking so fabulous. Okay, can we get the shirt and, and the shoes here? <laughs> so beautiful. So I'm here in Atlanta on the set of Sister Circle TV. I was backstage at the taping of the show, and was it so much fun? Like, it's just so dope, like, just to see how everything comes together and all four of you ladies. So it's all so beautiful. And I love the demographic that you guys yeah. are catered to. Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely. Something that I can see myself on TV mm -hmm. and talking about our issues and what we go through. Absolutely. Yes, yes, that's what's yes. up. That's it. I mean, that's exactly what uh, our intention is, is to educate, entertain, and inform the people. And um, that is our goal every day. Um, Selena is our, she's our prayer warrior, so we gather in prayer every morning right before the show. And so that is the mission. To be able to use the, res the use the platform respons responsibly, I think that is really all of our goal. Mm -hmm. Our each of our goals is to to do that each and every single day, and um, I think we we get the job done. Absolutely, every single day too. Yes. <laughs> so give us a little bit of background information about you. I know you got your start in radio mm -hmm. and sports. Yeah. yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. So I started in radio in '02 here in Atlanta, and um, I went to college on a, a swimming in an academic scholarship, so, but I do have my degree in broadcast journalism, and so um, I went the unconventional way uh, and, and actually did American Idol style. Ryan Cameron, who is a pretty legendary radio personality here in Atlanta, was looking for a new co-host, and um, I went out American Idol style and, and won. Nice. And so beat out like 500 people in the city or whatever, and you know, that was no easy task, but right, um, so humble about it, like only 500. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good. Alongside my, my good friend CJ, um, she she and I both were picked, but I was more so his my main kind of co-host. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so I started from there. And uh, sports has always been a, a part of who I am. My dad is a retired, legendary high school football coach. Mom coached football to uh, little league, and I was in in sports, swimming, soccer, tennis, golf. I'm not, I'm sorry, so I'm thinking about my nonprofit because I have a nonprofit that focuses on sports for young girls, but swimming, soccer, softball, jazz, tap, ballet, did all of that. And so sports has truly been an integral part of my growth as a woman and really helped me be shaped and sculpted into the woman I am today. Mm -hmm. yeah. So as a minority, as a female, did you have to overcome any challenges in that realm? Um, you know, I never looked at it as challenges because of my skin complexion or my gender. Um, I knew I always had to work harder than anyone else, mm -hmm. and the expectations were greater, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, but that never, that was never my, um, it was never the thing that I focused on the most. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Gotcha. I just kept doing the work and mm -hmm. kept having fun while doing it right. and learning along the way with pitfalls, with, you know, things, you know, ups and downs, hills and valleys. Mm -hmm. But I think that's how you grow as an individual and especially um, as you grow in your career. So. I welcomed all of that. The right. good, the bad, the ugly is mm -hmm. made me be really um, appreciative for this opportunity because I've worked so hard to get here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All things work together, right? Yes. yes. Even the things we wish we hadn't went through. Yeah. We look back on it, though, and be like, thank you. I'm so glad I went through yes. it. Yeah, those things mold you, and they, they really do develop character. They do. Those times when you're just like, I don't have anything else mm -hmm. but God. Yes. This is all, but he's always been there, uh, you know, along the way. But you know, when, when he, he giveth and taketh away, and when you at your lowest, that's when he's like, "I try to tell you, you gonna need me now." Right. So that's just kind of how it goes. So yeah. yeah. So what's the best piece of advice you've ever received? The best piece of advice, um, God rest his soul, Wayne Brown. He was the general manager at uh, the first radio station I worked at here in Atlanta, Hot 107.9. Mm -hmm. He said, "Whatever you do in this business, don't get lost." And so that meant don't lose who you are, don't lose what you, you stand for, your family, don't get caught up in the limelight. Mm -hmm. And I just never forgot that. I never forgot that. I don't know what he saw, I don't know what he may have heard, like maybe was, I was getting, not, not you, you know, you, because you, you're, on, you're on the radio and you're popular and maybe he thought, okay, I don't want her head to get you. I don't know what it was, but he mm -hmm. pulled me to the side and I never forgot, get that. And that was probably like in 2005, Mm. Never forgot that moment, and uh, it lives wow. with me to this day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And 
today's world, I feel like diversity is now like the talk of the town now. It's like a key buzzword, right? So six months from now, are we still going to be talking about diversity? Or is this just a hot topic just to get everybody going? You know, I think that we're on the beginning uh, of, we're in the beginning of what could truly be a real movement in uh, not only just in entertainment, but just in this country. And diversity is not just black and white. Diversity is LGBTQI, you know. Mm -hmm. Diversity is um, uh, parents of autistic children. You know what I mean? Like really, right. diver really div knowing and delving into what diversity means. It doesn't mean race, and it doesn't mean two races, right. black and white. Right. You know, so we just have mm -hmm. to stay away from what diversity has been taught or how it's been taught, mm -hmm. and really give it its own meaning and its name, um, yeah. and, um, and truly uh, let it be representative of all things and all people, not just two groups of people. Right. Yeah. And not just having diversity just to have it, yeah. just for the sake of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, needs to be, it needs to have meaning behind it and not just to say, oh, well, we did it, we diversified. No, let's diversify and learn from each other. Let's diversify mm -hmm. and really uh, come together. And that's what Sister Circle does. Although we are four African-American females, the things that we talk about, we want our uh, white brothers and sisters to look at and say, wow, you know, we're really more alike than we are different. And black people just right. to, to do the same thing or any other ethnic group mm -hmm. to look at our show and say, although what we see is this, this show is really about diversifying and allowing people to see one sector of people and how and the, and the variations of how they think and how, you know, how we're presented and how we are and how our thoughts are conveyed and say, Man, Rashawn, I think that same way. Man, did you hear what Selena right. said today? Right. Hey, Kiana said this. And quiet, oh my goodness. You know, and people are learning how to really identify with something that they might see on our show, whether you're white, black, green, whatever. Right. And I think that's what makes Sister Circle special, and that's diversity. Ooh, I want to end right there. <laughs> that was perfect. Anything you want to say to your fans, and how can we follow you? Well, I am at Rashawn Ali on everything, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm really not on Snapchat, just for the filters. Yes. yes okay, the filters. just for the filters. Save them and upload them to Instagram. Absolutely, <laughs> that's what I do. But I'm at Rashawn Ali everywhere at RashawnAli.com. Have a nonprofit called Sporty Girls. I have a, um, a podcast called the Cool Sora Podcast. So I do a, I do a lot of stuff. Nice. So um, just um, really happy to be a part of Sister Circle. So when do you sleep? I get a little rest, and yeah, I'm a wife and a mom, all that too. So yeah, I mean, I I, I make sure I. Spend some time alone and, and mm -hmm. get things done. So, yeah. To recharge. Yeah, to recharge. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rashawn. Thank you. We're out.